here's what's going to happen. There is the ISIS is going to use a weapon of mass destruction. I actually think this is going to play out over about a 48-month period of time. But ISIS is going to use a weapon of mass destruction in the Middle East. There could be other dominoes, meaning there could be attacks inside the United States, other places. Right now, people are looking at ISIS and they're saying, we got them on the run. Actually, we're playing right into their hands. This is exactly what they want us to do. It's, it's part of their prophecy to attack them so that they can draw the world into war. But if they they get desperate, they have weapons of mass destruction, and they're going to use them. So I actually think what we're doing right now is going to put them in a place where they're going to use weapon of mass destruction. Now, what's going to happen? All of a sudden, the, the nations of the world are going to quit pussyfooting around, including the United States of America. We are going to call for a coalition army. But the Pope, in particular, is going to call for the rejuvenation of the Christian rules for just war, which are Christian rules that both Catholics and evangelical support that mean under certain conditions the church will sanction war, genocide, reasons like that. And when he does, the uh, radical Islamists are going to believe that their very ancient prophecy, which they're following right now, that they believe that Muhammad said at the end of time you're going to form a caliphate and you are going to go to war against the army of Rome. Well, you and I know Rome doesn't have an army right. today. When the radical Islamists see the Pope call for the rejuvenation of the Christian rules for just war, that's going to be the Vatican sanctioning a coalition army like was formed during the Bush administration, and they're going to see it as the banner of Rome. They're going to see this as a crusade. And that's why they made a video recently, see you in Dabi, mm -hmm. right, where they show their tanks advancing on the Colosseum, and they're going to wipe out the city of Rome. They're going to wipe out the Vatican. They've told the Pope that they're going to kill him. This Pope is a believer in prophecy. He knows that he is the final one on the prophecy of the Popes, and that prophecy ends with the destruction of Rome, which is exactly what ISIS is talking about. Furthermore, when he uh, first became Pope, what was the first thing he did? He went to Portugal. He mm -hmm. went to Fatima, and he dedicated the world to uh, Our Lady of Fatima, which is the prophecy that says that the day is coming where the Bishop and White, the Pope, is going to be walking a along a ruined city that is falling down around him, dead bodies all over the place, and this is believed to be the Vatican. The Vatican's going to be attacked, the Pope, maybe some big event, he's knocked out of the Pope mobile, who knows, but as he's making his way to the cross, probably the one that's on the top of the obelisk in St. Peter's Square, ISIS-like fighters run into the city and they kill him. That's the this prophecy the of Fatima. Po he dedicated the entire world to Our Lady of Fatima. Huh. He, he is a complete complete believer in that prophecy. He also has endeared himself to the Kabbalist rabbis uh, in Israel. He has dined with them on numerous occasions. He's met with them. He's gone into the synagogue. And why well, is that? Wasn't there a recent uh, ruling that it's okay for Jews not to believe in Jesus? Well, They're that, just that, fine the way yeah, they are? Yeah. Doesn't that play into all of this coming together? Oh, it totally does. Toward a one world church, it makes them happy. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for telling people to stop bugging us about this Jesus guy. We can all get together and sing Kumbaya, but our Lord's different than your Lord. So in any case, but he, he, he endears himself to people who are believers and students of the Zohar, and in the Zohar, in the Vera section of the Zohar, which right, was, they, These are ancient Jewish uh, books that, uh, it's really Jewish mysticism, right. but go ahead. Right, they're written 700 years ago in medieval Aramaic, but in the Ve'era section of the Zohar, there is a prophecy that says between the year 5773 and 5775, the Messiah will return. Now, ask yourself why, because in our Gregorian calendar, that's 2013 through 2016. Ask yourself why 700 years ago, Orthodox Jewish priests believed that the Messiah would appear after 2013, sometime to 2016, and now you've got leading uh, 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 rabbis throughout Jerusalem. The top rabbis, three in a row, have come forward and they have said the Messiah is here. He is about to make himself known to the world. They've said to their students that are studying in their schools, don't even leave town. His appearing is so imminent. So it sounds like Maybe somebody has presented himself 
to them, and maybe they believe that their Messiah, which as far as we're concerned would be the Antichrist because they rejected the Messiah, and the Antichrist will present himself as the Messiah. Anyway, what am I saying? The Zohar also gives that prophecy and says, and then the city of Rome will be attacked and destroyed. So you had ancient Jews, you have Fatima, you have the Islamic State, all saying we're going to focus on uh, the Vatican. We're going to wipe out the armies of Rome. 